HQ. FC Cincinnati, as we all know, has been great for the city, but its meteoric rise has not been without drama. Now, a potential stadium and where it could be built is really at the root of it all. Angela Ingram is in the West End with why some high-profile people are against a professional stadium there. Hi, Angela. Hi, Cammie. Well, they're concerned about what it would mean for the rich, diverse history in this neighborhood, and that includes the stadium behind me, which was named after a man who dedicated his life to children in the West End. The roar of the crowd at FC Cincinnati's games should not replace the roar of the crowd that watch students play at Stargill Stadium. That's the feeling of the people who live in the West End. The stadium that's part of Taft High School was named after Willard Stargill, a teacher and assistant coach. He was known for his commitment to the kids in the neighborhood. But kids under his tutelage. Many of them went on to play professional sports. And if they didn't, because of the guidance he was able to give them, many of them who would have slipped by the wayside, completed school, went to college. People who live in the West End are worried about what a soccer stadium would do to the neighborhood. Taft and Hayes Porter schools could be affected. I cannot believe the arrogance of FC Cincinnati mm. to think that they can displace and disrupt the facilities mm. for CPS students from six different high schools who use Stargill. FCC team president Jeff Birding says there's a possibility that the team might want to use that land to build an MLS stadium. He claims it will not have a negative impact on the neighborhood. But many are worried that the people who've lived here for years could be pushed aside in the name of progress. When you choose to disrupt the normal uh, geographics of a neighborhood by bringing in something as significant as a major league soccer stadium, you're upsetting the total dynamics of that neighborhood. And team president Jeff Birding is expected to be at the next West End Community Council meeting. That is scheduled for this month, later this month on the 20th at the Carl Lindner Y. Reporting live tonight in the West End, Angela Ingram, Local 12 News. Cammie, back to you. All right, Angela, thank you. Birding says other potential sites in Oakley and in Newport are also still options. Though Campbell County's judge executive has told Local 12 he knows of no ongoing negotiations between FCC and Campbell County or Newport.